Hi everyone, today I'm here with a little haul video. I've been doing some online shopping recently. It's kind of sale season and I always think it's really annoying that the sales happen all at the wrong times, like all the nice summer clothes have now gone into the sale, but our summer's only really just started. So I always find it a little bit difficult to shop at this time of year because I'm terrible at shopping in the sales. I'm so jealous of my friends that are great at like finding the bargains, but unless it's a higher end store where nothing really changes, I just find the layout of like sales so chaotic and hard to shop in. But online it's much easier and I've been buying a lot of stuff from ASOS and it's great because you can just shop the usual way you always shop on there, but if you're lucky, some of the things you like might be cheaper. So I've got quite a few things from ASOS and a couple of things from Whistles and Cos as well. So let's start with the sale stuff that I got from ASOS. First up are these pair of shoes and I haven't actually worn these yet. They're from a brand called Selected Femme and they were originally 55 pounds and they went down to 44. So this this is what they look like. They are espadrilles, so they have this kind of corked bottom, and then they are a tan leather with black leather straps going around the back of your foot. And I thought these would be really comfortable because they're open toe and the back is open as well, so they won't kind of squash your feet in the heat. I've got some sandals, but these felt more kind of city appropriate because if you wear sandals in London and go on the tube, your feet get so grubby. So although I think that might still happen with these, they feel a bit more shoe-like, a bit more sturdy for walking around kind of town. I haven't worn these yet, but I've tried them on and they feel really comfortable. The tan looks a little bit weird with my skin colour, but they're different to anything else I have, so I thought they'd be cool with like dresses or jeans even. So I'm looking forward to wearing those this summer. I just felt like I really needed some new summer clothes. Last week I had like a massive wardrobe clear out. I just decided I hated all my clothes. I had so much winter stuff and nothing really summery. So I gave loads of my clothes away to my sisters and I just needed a few new like summery pieces just to add into my wardrobe. So let me show you some of the tops I got from ASOS. This one's a bit of a wild card. I don't know if I can get away with it tie-dye is very like hippie 60s and this is like a green and purple tie-dye top which sounds insane it's a t-shirt and i just thought it was a little bit summery because it has this cut out on the front and cut out on the back as well and it's tie-dye at the top and then it goes down to just a purple at the bottom and it's kind of lightweight and i'll probably just wear this like not for smart occasions but just like weekends or a family barbecue or something like that it's just kind of easy to throw on with shorts I was really lacking like nice tops, so I thought I would just get this and I do really like it, it's just a bit weird. It's not my favorite thing from this haul. This is by a brand called Religion and it was originally 40 pounds, I got it for 32 pounds. Okay, next up is a play suit and this is by a brand called Glamorous. This was originally 32 and I got it for 25. They only had it in the tall range, but I'm 5'7", so I think I can get away with wearing stuff from that range. And I haven't noticed this being like too long in the body or anything like that. If anything, I actually think it's better because play suits can sometimes be a bit short on me. So it's a play suit, it's off the shoulder and it's kind of three quarter length sleeves. It goes in at the waist and then it has these really cute little shorts with like little phrase on the bottom or I don't even know what that is. But it's very sweet. I haven't really got anything like this. I really like the print. It's very summery. The only thing I don't love about this is the material. It's 100% polyester, so it feels quite cheap and it definitely makes you a little bit more hot than like a cotton play suit would. So that's the only thing I don't like about it, but I really like the shape. I really like how it looks. Um, and so I'd wear this for a slightly like smarter summer occasion. And I think it's really cute. It's also a little bit see-through, so you have to wear nude underwear, but I was wearing nude underwear and it looked fine. You couldn't really see it, so that's okay. But yeah, I really like this, it's very cute. The next item you've definitely seen already because I talked about it on Snapchat, I've posted it on my Instagram, and I know a lot of you guys have already gone out and purchased it. It's a play suit from ASOS. It was originally 32 pounds and I got it for 28. I got it in a size 10. A lot of you guys were asking me because I'm in between a 10 and a 12, and I got this in a 10 because I think it looks better fitted. I got both sizes and this was the one that looked better. It's a kimono play suit, and I've never had one of these before, and I love it. It's so flattering. It's got slight sleeve, which is really nice if you don't like showing the tops of your arms and then it goes in at the waist, and then it kind of looks like a dress, but it's a play suit. It's kind of cross body on the boobs, and I just think it's so flattering. Last time I checked, they had all the sizes available, but I think they've sold out for the 14 and the 16 now, but I just think this is such a good find, and I'm so, so happy with it. I've washed it once, and it still feels okay. I hope that it lasts, because yeah, I really, really enjoyed wearing this. I think it can kind of look like day appropriate, but I also wore it to a party, like a summer party, and it was fine for that. You can wear it with boots or with sandals. It's just so comfortable, it's like wearing pajamas. Okay, so the next three items weren't in the sale. 
I just wanted to get some nicer tops and I went to Whistles and the first top I found is this navy blue one. I think Anna has this in black and white. A lot of you guys were tweeting me saying, Anna has that top as well. It's really nice. It has this like cutout like the tie-dye t-shirt um, on the front and the back and then it has these little sleeves which this shape normally doesn't suit me but I think it's really smart and it's nice to wear with jeans. I just don't have many tops like this that will smarten up an outfit. It has a really nice seam that goes down the front and the back. It's just so easy to wear, a really good like staple to have in my wardrobe. I don't remember how much these items are, but I'm going to link them all below in the description box. I'm going to link all the items that I've spoken about, even if they've sold out, just in case they come back in stock. So definitely go and check the links in the description box below. The other top I got from Whistles is a black t-shirt. And I have quite a few plain t-shirts, but this is just a little bit more smart, a little bit more interesting. So it's black and it's just plain at the top, like round neck, short sleeves. But then at the bottom it has this really cute like little pleating that comes out the bottom. And it's just really different and so sweet and definitely makes the outfit a little bit smarter. And I just thought it would be a really nice addition to my t-shirt collection. Again, it has like the seam down the back, which a lot of the Whistles t-shirts have. And I think that's really flattering. The final clothing item is from Cos. This isn't really weather appropriate, but I know that this sun will go very soon and we'll be back to like autumn, winter. It's a little grey sweatshirt. It has like three quarter length sleeves and it's just plain grey on the front. But on the back, it has this little like shirt detail. So it looks like you're wearing a, a shirt underneath a cropped sweater and it slightly overlaps. Actually, it, it like kind of opens up quite a lot. I just think it's so cool and so different and it was quite hard to find a size that worked. The first shop I went to only had a large and it was huge. So then I was on the hunt for a medium and when I tried the medium on, it was also huge. So I ended up going for a small. I'm definitely not a small, I'm a 10 to 12. So this will probably be huge on a lot of you guys if you are normally a smaller size, but the small worked out for me. I'm really happy I got it. I'm looking forward to wearing that when the kind of weather changes again. Okay, only a couple more things and these are just some earrings. I really want to build up my earring collection because I don't have that many. I just like small gold studs, really. I don't think hanging earrings suit me. I don't want anything too big. So I found these in Aurelia. That's by far my favorite brand for buying earrings. They sell it in Topshop. You can also find it online. The first pair of earrings I got are some little gold pineapples. They're so cute. Pineapples, watermelons, and flamingos are everywhere at the moment. They also had some flamingo little ear studs too. It's so funny, like how can a pineapple be on trend? But it is, and I just thought these would be really cute. The other pair I got are two different ones. One I'm already wearing in my ear. It's like a little leaf. And I thought that was really cute because it's like a slight like runner. It kind of goes up your ear a little bit. And the other one are just three little gold dots like put together in a little cluster and I thought that'd be nice when I eventually get this earring out and I can replace it. I need to get like latex gloves because I just can't get this earring out. So those are the earrings that I picked up. I forgot something. One minute. I also got this dress from ASOS. This was £40 and I got it for 32 and it's from their Reclaimed Vintage range. Actually I don't know if Reclaimed Vintage is a brand or it's just a sub brand of ASOS. I'm not sure. But I just thought this looked really nice and light and airy for the summer. It's this blue print with like, I don't know, all different kinds of stuff going on. I don't know what that's called. It has buttons all the way down the front and it's very loose. They only had a size 12 when um, I bought this. I think they might have a 10 now. So it's slightly on the big side, but it's a sort of dress where it's fine to be slightly big. It's so, so comfortable, really light and airy. So when it's a hot day, it's perfect. It looks really cool with boots and a leather jacket. And it also looks great with sandals. So I've I've worn this loads. I've worn all of these items loads, like the play suits and this dress. You probably have already seen on my Snapchat. I'm loving the earrings and I'm looking forward to having some smarter events so I can wear the whistles and cos items too. So yeah, I'm really happy with my purchases. It's made such a difference to my wardrobe having these kind of pieces in there now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul and let me know what your favorite piece that I picked up is and let me know if you buy any of them as well. I love when you guys send me photos of like things you've bought because I've mentioned them. A lot of you have done that already with the pink play suit and it's so nice to see all your photos. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!